say a review on the 2006 Tesco 9 inch desk mat or DF96. As you can see, it has, as you can see, now I know that Kieran and Ethan have the DF98 and I do also, but I'm reviewing the older version, the DF96. So you can see it has a blue badge, which I quite like, with blue blades, blue oscillator. And the switch is the same as the 2004 Durograph. So it's a little bit smaller, it's kind of blue and it's on the base. Right, I, off. Yeah, fan lines and everything. You can see here it has two clips holding it in. And it's one of those fans that has like, you know, the clips and all that are on the back of the, on the back grill, not on the front. Anyway, this is the side view. It has the older tilt adjustment where you can tilt it down. Well, so if I put my foot there, you can tilt it up. A little bit leave it like level. It has a blue oscillator. One thing I like about it that I think is quite unique is it has a blade cap right there, which you don't usually see on a 9 inch blade cap. Now, let's turn it to the back. It does have a crack there. Also, the vent design, like the back motor housing is similar to Kieran's. It's the status 9 inch desk fan, I think. But yeah, it has a screw for the oscillator. That's on and that's off. But yeah, we're going to switch it back to the front and I'll show you the motor housing before. Right, I'll show you the information to the Tesco 9 inch desk fan or DF96. Mm -hmm. Input power, built or made in China. And it has basically a single screw to hold the base in. I had to use a different screw because the screw that it came with was too big. That was the disadvantage, and this hook doesn't go on, or clip doesn't go on properly. But, but before we switch the fan on, let's look at this. Let me unplug that, don't need that. But yeah, here's the plug. It has the older plastic plug. Same plug as the 2004 Durocraft, actually, except it has a 3 amp sticker on it, because apparently it uses a 3 amp, which is what, which is what the factory is making. 5 amp will be okay, but 10 amp is not allowed on this. Let's plug it in. Core length is about like, I'll say, about 5 to 6 foot, so not too bad. Now we're going to switch the fan on. Right. It's much more powerful. Also, it, it feels pretty solid built, honestly. The flimsiest part is the base. It's actually a powerful fan. I don't have my table with me, I forgot again. I'm gonna go get it this time. It's a powerful fan. Hi. Oscillation. It oscillates very quickly. The DF98 has a long, has a wider oscillation. Yeah, it's a bit lumpy there. Low. Let me go to center and switch it off. Bit on time's honestly decent. Definitely not the worst, but not the best. Anyways, obviously the quality of the fan. I'll, I'll say it's actually pretty well built. Not a bad fan. I'll say the quality is like a six. Better than, definitely better than fans of today, but antique fans are much better. No, let's say it's a 7, because and like vintage fans are better built than this one, but it, 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 this fan is better built than fans you've seen in the 2010s. Um, airflow, I'll give it a solid 9. It's very powerful, it's a powerful 9 inch desk fan. Would recommend. And, well, also, 
I would say. Because my camera will focus. Yeah, if you like. No, the noise level, sorry. It's got to be like a 5. It's a, it's noisier than the DS98, but it's not too noisy. But yeah, would I recommend for this fan? Yes. Great fan. Would recommend. It's from 2006, this model is. I do have its original box, set, which I forgot to show, but oh well. Yeah, that's the DF98, DF96 Tesco 9-inch desk fan, which is better than the DF98 in my opinion. It's just better in general. I don't like its looks more. It's also my childhood fan. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this review helpful. Thanks for watching and see ya.